Hi, my name is Michael Despenis. I'm with Friends of the Earth US, and I want to talk about a report that we just recently re released. It's called A Dangerous Distraction, Why Offsets Are a Mistake the US Cannot Afford to Make. Offsets are so important to understand because the United States is uh, planning to take action, hopefully, on addressing climate change. Uh, legislators, both in the House of Representatives and in the Senate, are considering uh, a variety of policy solutions. Unfortunately, uh, the use of offsets is a cornerstone of virtually all the solutions that are being put forth. So what are offsets? Uh, international offsets are a mechanism where polluters here in the U.S., uh, whether it be a factory or a coal plant, rather than reducing their emissions here, they pay for a project in a developing country where, they, where a factory or a plant there will reduce an equi equivalent amount of emissions. Now, what is wrong with offsets? In theory, they sound great. They can help reduce emissions around the world. They do it in a way that's very economically efficient, and they can promote uh, sustainable development in the developing world. In reality, we've found that it turns out offsets often do not deliver the, the results that they promised. Uh, we found that anywhere from one-third to two-thirds of uh, offset projects uh, fail to reduce emissions, which can actually mean that uh, emissions will actually increase globally. Second, we find that um, Offset mechanisms can promote perverse um, environmental impacts. For example, developing uh, governments, they, they can generate tax revenues from these offset programs. So they're encouraged not to implement environmental laws or regulations that could achieve the same results uh, for far less money. Another side effect is that by using offsets, it delays taking action here in the United States. We need to make a transition as quickly as possible to a cleaner, greener technology that will help reduce emissions. And the sooner we start, uh, the lower the cost will be, the sooner the benefits we'll realize here in terms of a cleaner environment, a uh, healthier population, and will create uh, millions of new green jobs. The last big problem with offsets is that it actually does not really s promote sustainable development in the developing world. The revenues that it generates are far too small to, uh, to de promote this type of development. Also, it's, uh, in the real world, it turns out many of the projects that are getting funded are actually their fossil fuel projects that are only marginally better than the, what exists now. And so we're actually, in many cases, locking in high carbon technology in these developing worlds, which is going to exist for many, many decades. There are three broad recommendations. First is we recommend that the United States um, take on serious and ambitious uh, emission reductions targets. And for example, we're recommending that the U.S. reduce its emissions by 40 percent compared to 1990 levels by 2020, and that's without using any offsets, zero offsets. And our second recommendation is that the U.S. reject any future new offsetting programs or the expansion of any current uh, offset programs that exist. Our third recommendation is that the U.S. support um, international financing mechanisms that can promote uh, sustainable development in the developing world and can promote uh, the use of green technology in the developing world so they don't follow in the same path as we have here in the United States and in Europe.